for this semi-final match. And I'm delighted to say alongside me, our Volleyball World expert analyst, Liam Sketcher. And how's that for a welcome to the first serve for Simone Gianelli, on court captain in, in the absence of Wilfredo Leon. Neither captain is on the floor. The block from Milano is so well organized at the moment. Regas out of the back line. Not the only block that he's well organized. How's that for a stop? Or they have the block in the right position against Regas and force him to take more risk on his swing. Here he goes for his safe shot, trying to hit the ball straight at six like he did in the last game. Tanya trying to get a look at Gianelli at the service line. The net touch helps him. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> detonation from Ishikawa. I haven't seen him use the line too much, but when he gets it and he sees the space, whoo. Well, that mental approach. It's a good serve from Losse. Semenu having made the mistake down the line, decides to go cross court. Losse makes a great touch. And Ishikawa puts it away this season. And great to see the guys getting around. Uh, Lasse there making a wonderful dig in the corner. He's not just the middle, he's a volleyball player. <laughs> Got a love of theory, haven't you, Liam Sketcher? <laughs> Everyone has a theory. Good serve, great pass. Oh, well, that is delicious. Wonderful volleyball again from Milano. The additional receiver, so in this case Regas, allows the one. Right pass from Kalachi. Well, it's something that was missing from game one. Offense is very, very difficult to stop. Absolutely right. He's one of the most dynamic middle attackers in the world. Herrera watches on as Regas serves. They're doing a good job at the moment, Milano, of, of removing the pipe threat, but not defending the tip very well. And it's noticeable that this has been a rarity in this series, that there hasn't been so many times the players have had to tip. Unsuccessful last time, the Ukraine captain gets it in nicely. Ishikawa onto the front foot so he can make the pace out to the wing and just chops it. That points now. And this is what Ishikawa does well. He can be having a, an average game by his standards, but he started pretty well tonight with every swing. Poro tries to finish it and does finish it. Ace for Paolo Poro and Milano put a line under set one. Absolutely. It's, you hit the nail on the head earlier on when you said, looks like Milano just rolled on from the last game and Perugia need to find some new solutions to get rid of this Plotnitsky serve. He goes off pace. Regas forced to take the ball rather awkwardly. And that meant hitters were going to be isolated and the block has done its job. Having fun and getting the job done at 39 years of age. Another good serve from Kaziski. Great block coverage. Good pick up from Kalachi and Bentara forced to tip. Poro's got Ishikawa, and Ishikawa has got Russo. Go full and play his best shot. Very nice. Really look at that as well on the slow mo. Russo with the serve. Ishikawa's getting a bit more traffic now, and it's starting to work. He stepped up so well, Marco Vitelli. work Ventada can't find the big serve it's good movement from Kalachi to read that and a nice kill in transition and Perugia are forging a big lead here first set for the visitors but Perugia back in control now oh, it's more like it from Ventada Kaziski way off the net like the Block Devils team that have won three tournaments already this season, three big trophies. Flavio straight off the whistle. Kaziski solid pass and a nice fluid swing out of the back line from up against Plotnitsky. 
seven all. Milano yet again managed to fashion a point out of nothing. Oh, they've got hold of Plotnitsky at the moment. Oh, that's not going to work. Better from Bentara. And then follows it up with a huge hit. But the blocks at the moment are very effective. Both sides of the net. And the clever pull away from Gianelli. Now can this man leather it? Plotnitsky takes a bit of pace off but still causes Ishikawa a problem. And the blockers are stacking up nicely, giving the defenders a real chance here. And that was never, never going to be defended. Regas was a long, long way back. Ishikawa is getting roughed up by the Perugia serve at the moment. Set off Zonta, not quite in rhythm for him. Gets another one that he has to wait for, so he goes to the reuse once more. That might have been going long. Crowd trying to tell Kalachi to leave it, but it matters not. Milano to get into their offense. They just cannot get the ball close enough to the net. The buzz from Wednesday night has certainly gone now for Allianz Milano. Wow, wow, and maybe this is Perugia. And what a block from Bentara. Doesn't wait around to help at all. Straight into his cross step and dives the hands back in once, once he sees that the ball hasn't made it to the antenna. 22-11. Good touch again. Manufactured block. Nothing manufactured about that though, that's just pure class. 15 points for Bentara. And have really put an imprint on this game in the last two sets. Too easy at the moment. There's just a little look that the wheels are coming all the way off. 16 points for Bentara. 24-12. And that's where he's heading at the moment. Semenya hits Losa, who steps in on that serve reception. That's another messy point for Milano. And it's another kill. Each other. Also puts it into play. Kaziski gets a nice ball in return, and this time the blocker's guessing that Porro had to go to the middle, but he didn't. Body language has changed. The block on the last couple of uh, balls has been much better. And they back it up with some serving. Vitelli, one ace against Kalachi. Doesn't beat him this time. That was quite expansive from Gianelli. And it's cost Perugia the point, trying to force the issue to Flavio. He's been good. And that's a good hit. Dealt with by Semenya, who gets the return ball. Can't put it down. Chance for the lead for Milano. And Kaziski takes it. Important serve. Clips the net. Russo can't force it to the tape. Bentara out of system, does his job again. And he maintains his challenge for a him and Kaziski. All of a sudden the side out gets simple. Very different evening for Regas on 12 points at the moment. But no Perugia looking to put the lid on this one. And Plotnitsky, oh, good serve, great defence. Free ball, free net, and a free point. Plotnitsky takes it. Good serve, well dealt with by Catania. Oh, wow. And the Perugia block. Vitelli hit. Good pass in the end, and another fine no look. Ishikawa has been under pressure with his serving. Gets a good one away. Kalachi passes it. Bentara finishes it quite brilliantly. And the Block Devils of Perugia storm into a 3-1 win.